Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. I welcome one and all to Jews Federal Mass for Father Joseph Akete Bako and his brother Sunday Bako and also the May God look at Philip who died on various days in the hands of kidnappers who commend their soul into the hands of the Lord and we pray that the Almighty God will grant them the reward of eternal life. the Holy Gospel according to Luke. It was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour while the sun's light filled and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now there was a man named Joseph from the Jewish town of Arimathea. He was a member of the council, a good and righteous man. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen shoe and laid it in a rock-hewn tomb, where no one had ever yet been laid. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, behold, Two men stood by them in dazzling apparel, and as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. The Gospel of the Lord.
as I was listening to the gospel just now read, something struck me. When I looked there and I didn't see the mortal remains of Father Joseph, I said to myself, at least the, those who crucified Jesus, they were kind enough to allow Joseph and Arimathea to go and remove the Jesus and give him a decent burial. Here we are. I think God, God, uh, both groups can be described as criminals. But this, the criminals that killed Jesus, we are kind enough. But these criminals, they did what they did. Anyway, it was a thought that came to my mind when I was listening and I was reflecting as the gospel was being read. About a year ago, one of our priests who is here with us from the Bako family was kidnapped. He spent over a month in the kidnapper's den. Less than a year ago, we buried for the salmon Baku of the Bako family who died of natural causes. Here we are today saying a funeral mass for Father Joseph Baku and his brother Sunday Baku of the same Baku family. May the God of all consolations be your strength in this very difficult and trying moments for the family. And it is indeed a very difficult and trying moment. As an archdiocese, we are gathered yet again to bury yet again another young priest. Another young, gentle, energetic, dynamic, hardworking, dedicated, and committed priest whose life was yet again brutally and tragically cut short, yet again by bandits turned terrorists. We take consolation. In the fact that for the Joseph Akete Bako live an active and fruitful priestly life. He was indeed a gentleman to the core. If we believe as we should that the kingdom of God belongs to the gentle, humble, meek, and peacemakers, then we know where for the Joseph Akati is. I must confess that this funeral mass is indeed one of a kind and with a difference. This is the first time in my over 36 years as a priest to preside at the funeral mass without a mortal remain to commit to Mother Earth. No thanks to failure of governance. Simple. It is no term thanks to failure of governance. As we already know, for the Joseph Akete Bako was kidnapped along with his elder brother Sunday Bako in the parish house when they did, I have already mentioned them the 8th of March 2022. Available information say his brother, Sunday Bako, was killed by the abductors not too long after their kidnap. This event, 
this sad occurrence naturally triggered existing illnesses in Father Joseph. He had existing conditions. Illnesses we are told he did not recover from. We do not know precisely when Father Joseph died. However, along with the testimony of an eyewitness, somebody who was in the camp where Father Joseph was, testified to me and to others that he saw the mortal remains of Father Joseph Akati. More so, the kidnappers themselves called the negotiator, the person negotiating with them to inform him that father had died. And he died of sickness. Of course, they caused the sickness. And so, it is this evidence that enables us to do what we are doing today. We know that Father John Baco, three years and about three months, we do not have concrete evidence as we have in this matter. That is why up till now, we are still in Quandary. Is he alive? Is he dead? We hope that God will throw light on the situation so that we can do what needs to be done for him. Dear brothers and sisters, with the way the bandits turn terrorists are operating with impunity, Nigerians are rightly asking pertinent questions. Do we really have a government and if we have, does the government really care? I think these are questions that are in the minds of every Nigerian today. Citizens have been abducted and killed on a daily basis. And no one seems to be called to account for their actions or inactions. Every Nigerian killed today by the bandits or kidnapped is kidnapped within a territory manned by somebody, a security or security officers whom the government pays with our money and nobody is called to account. Something is fishy. Something is happening. Of all the kidnappings and whatever, every day we are being told that we have given orders and no orders have been carried. Any commander in chief, what the name? If you give orders that they are not carried, there are the persons, the people to whom you give the orders, you call them responsible. You call them, you hold them to account. Things are happening in our country and people are not being called to account. Like I said, for their actions or inactions that has brought us to where we are today. People are asking, where did our beloved and once peaceful country get it wrong? Where did we get it wrong? We must have gotten it wrong somewhere. So sure it wasn't this way. And if we are where we are in this quagmire, Therefore, something must have gone wrong. And there are people who, whose responsibility it is today to find out what went wrong. To find out where we got it wrong. And do the needful. With this kind of situation, with the prophet Jeremiah, one is tempted to ask those constitutionally charged with the responsibility of securing our lives and property. 
Why is a country annihilated? Born like bond like the desert where no one passes. What ruins is ours? What total shame? Jeremiah chapter 9 verses 11 and 12 and 18. Truly truly the eyes of Nigerians are worn out with weeping. Their inmost being in ferment and eyes plummeted at the destruction of our dear nation, region, and state. Truly, our eyes no longer produce tears. Our eyes no longer produce tears because the provenance, the source, our tears have been dried for because of constant weeping. Because of constant weeping, the eyes of Nigerians are dried up. They can no longer produce tears. Even when you are dearest, because every day, for how long? Have we been shedding tears? Naturally, it runs out. And her tears have run out. With the Samis, Nigerians are worn out with groaning because night and day they groan, drenching, and sucking their pillows with tears. Psalm 6 verse 6 let me remind you my brother priest of what I said last year according to Father Kiri and Gonap when he received the sad news of the kidnap of our Aweso and also the death of our Alphonsus shortly before I mean a few days before we buried Father Alphonsus I was in his parish and we went to one big house station and um, he was talking to the people and so he said and I caught him he said and I quoted him last year he said with or without kidnapping the work of proclaiming the gospel must go on we cannot stop we cannot run away He's only about how many years? Not yet. I don't think he's five years old. Years in the priesthood. He said this. Indeed, we cannot stop preaching the gospel entrusted to us. Come rain, come sunshine. We cannot run away because, again, with St. Paul, we are convinced that we will come through all these things triumphantly, victorious. By the power of him who loved us for we are certain of this that and I quote St. Paul neither death nor life no angels no principalities nothing already in existence and nothing still to come no any power no heights no depths no any created thing whatever will be able to come between us and the love of God. None to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39. Finally, I wish to thank everyone who did whatever could they could to see that to, 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 to get further uh, for the Joseph release. Many people worked very hard. Especially the pastoral council chairman who was working under the leadership and direction of the dean of Romidinari, very reverend Father Andrew Dodo. For, mon for months and weeks you spent restless days and sleepless nights talking to the criminals holding for the Joseph and others. 
we are grateful to you. We thank you for all you've done. We ask God to bless you. May the soul of Father Joseph Akete Bako and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Yanua Ga Dantin Kiana Allah Ga Shia Su Christo Wendeke Kawar Dazunubandunia Masung Al Barkani Moon Dakageta Wuri Wan Nampiki Dantin Kiana Allah Ya Wangiji Wangisaka We are sorry that we are coming here the second time within a short time for the funeral of another classmate of ours in this archdiocese. Indeed, for all who are in Christ Jesus, life is changed, not ended at death. Mutuan may be ribache. Munrasaka Adunia Samania Tamarabcheka Father Joe Akete We your classmates are standing here in deep sorrow Not just that you are no more But the nature and manner of your death Luca, your security man Took the first bullet in an attempt to save you from your captors. Sunday, your brother joined you on this journey of no return. Hence, your funeral today without your mortal remains. Father Joe, you were our great defender in our seminary days in the football pitch. Yet, defenseless in the hands of your abductors. Kai, Nigeria. Sacred places are desecrated. Priests have all of a sudden become soft targets. Mutane, Sunzamakaya and Jari, the Chiniki. No place is safer any longer. Most of your classmates, Father Joe, are not here today due to security concerns. Inaza Mujemus Ira. On the road, we are not safe. Agonekimu, we are not safe. At home, we are not safe. Harma Chicken Ecclesia. Our security is not guaranteed. Babu Mafaka say wuren Yesu. Babu Mafaka say wuren meche tonka. We prayed and sang together. But today, Father Joe, you have joined the heavenly choir. Father Joe. Kindly do something from heaven about this country. Please intercede for us. Give our regards to Father Joel Tamzi and all our classmates over there. Tell them that Father John Bagobiri is not joining them anytime soon. Be consoled, your grace. Be consoled, Father John Bagobiri and Father Moses Bassa, our ordination mate. Be consoled, priests and religious of the Kaduna Archdiocese. Kukara Hakuri Iyalin Shimeregayi, Father Joseph Akete. 
be consoled our dear lady and the people of God in Kaduna Archdiocese. Be consoled dearest parishioners here of Kodenda. Goodbye, Father Akete. Rest in peace until we meet at Jesus' feet. On behalf of the family of Mr. Bako Akete, we wish to appreciate all for what you have done during our trial. We thank you most sincerely for your prayers. We thank you for your financial supports. We thank you for your sleepless days and nights. All to see that Father Joe was rescued all in vain. May your sacrifices never go in vain through Christ our Lord. We are all appealing, still appealing and soliciting for your continuous prayers, especially for the old mamas and the siblings left behind. As you all came safely from your various destinations, so shall you return back to your various destinations safely through Christ our Lord. And may the souls of Reverend Father Joseph Bako Akete, the soul of Sunday Bako Akete, the soul of our brotherhood who was first shot, and all the souls of the faithful departed through Christ our Lord. Rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the gift you have given to the family. We appreciate all your effort and up to this moment. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the God of all consolations bless you. For in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race. And in the resurrection of his only begotten son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. To all who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins. And to all the dead, a place of light and peace. So, may we all live happily forever with Christ whom we believe truly rose from the dead. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Go forth. The Mass is ended.